Well, hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited with your host, Stanon Jr. We are getting ready to start episode 15. I misspoke Tuesday when I was doing the Coffee Craft stream. We are getting ready to start episode 15, and we're getting ready to head back to Manan. Originally, when we left off last week, I was going to uh, finish up some shopping in the area that we were at. And I, I spent a lot of time looking at all the uh, items on offer. And as nice as they are, it's too much a chunk of the money that we have to spend that kind of money, if that makes sense. Um, so we're going to hold off on that. Now, let me switch back over to the desktop capture real quick. Because uh, even though the game seems to have been running a little bit better, I don't want to take any chances. And let's get back to Manan. And, okay, good. Ever since the uh, surprise update a couple of days ago, this process has been going a whole lot better. I don't know if in the process of updating the graphics package they updated the video format and that's why this seems to be going off without crashing uh or at least crashing like it used to but uh whatever it is that they did i'll take it uh oh are we under attack now too oh no okay yep no we're under attack again of course of course All right, come and get it. Dramatic audio and video is dramatic. Quick, quick. Come on. Come on. Nope. <laughs> Those lightning like reef. I usually read out restream. Which I've got on a side monitor and I usually have it showing up in the video. I also struggle with the uh, clunky setup. All right, where is the last two? Oh, 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 oh. Uh-oh, that's not good. I think we're about to uh, restart the game in just a second here. Uh-oh. Not my best show of reflexes. Oh, game audio is not coming to the stream? Oh. Looks like the game is also not coming to the stream. <laughs> All right, let me uh, see if I can fix that real quick. Ever since one of the... Uh... All right, maybe that's going to work better. Ever since one of the um, one of the Windows updates, one of the recent ones, Mixer and Windows seem to randomly decide to switch up the audio. And come on. I hear the game in the background. Are we? Oh. All right. One problem fixed and another problem still going. All right. Come on. I was just praising the video from not glitching out on me. And then this happens. <laughs> With feeling. We got this. Um, oh, 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 nope. All right. Uh, shoot. <laughs> I. All right, I may have to restart Star Wars. I just hope it doesn't queue up that battle. If I remember right, it is a random thing. So, all right, let's do that. 
switch that over to the intermission real quick so uh, you can stare at a sad puppy. <laughs> While I get... Oh! And there it goes. Okay. That works. <laughs> yeah, it's a Jabba. And now do we have it? Okay, there we go. Now we've got the video. Because of course. <laughs> Yaka Yakazua Zero? Or Yakazua O? I can't quite tell with the chat font. Also not sure if I like the new mic setup. I like that I got a little bit more room underneath, but uh No, 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 I don't want to quit anymore. No, no. Everything's fine here. Everything's fine. How are you? Yakazuka Zero. Okay. Might have to look into that. Alright, and away we go. Now since uh if you weren't, if you didn't get a chance to see last week's stream, we are on Manan, which is the Switzerland of the universe at this particular juncture in Star Wars lore. They are one of the few plants that has a compound used in medkits. And so the Sith and the Republic are both here and getting into a war of words because nobody wants to go any further and get kicked off the planet. Since I know there's a bunch of Sith running around, I will grab a Jedi with me on this particular party, and I will grab somebody who can kick butt and take names, because that seems important too. And that robot is absolutely hilarious. And it looks like I kind of forgot to level him up last time I uh, took him out. So let's level him up real quick. Use his whole two skill points. Ah, Yakuza. Okay. Now I got it. Now I'm tracking. Huh. That sounds pretty cool. Alright. Now, yesterday we had... Or, yesterday. Last week we uh, took care of everything in this hallway. And we ended up going back to... Tatooine to finish up a little side quest with Candorus, our uh, mercenary friend. So now let's head over to West Central and move on to the next little bit. Start getting a little bit more of the planet explored. I also wonder if these two companions will snipe at each other like uh, some of the other ones have. That has at times been very entertaining. Yeah, what do you want? Are you? My name is Joel. I'm just traveling because I. Oh, okay. You're the card shark. Every planet's got a card shark. Just in a game? No. You see, this is a game of luck. And luck is not my strong suit. So... We'll skip the game of luck. Now, Arcadius, who's oftentimes here on the stream as well, likes to try to tell me that it is more strategy than luck, but he's seen me play. You would think he would know better by now. Has mouse smoothing that you cannot disable. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Alright. Let's talk to you, Mr. Official Official. Welcome to Manama. While you're here, I trust you to follow all the rules governing activities of off-worlders. Well, you know, I try. I am playing a neutral good. Alright, uh... <laughs> pathetic laws of pathetic fish don't concern me. Yeah, that, that doesn't seem wise. Entertaining, but not wise. 
Let's check what are the rules exactly. <laughs> the single most important law in Manana is very simple. Koto smuggling is punishable by death. Okay. If you're carrying any unprocessed Colto, you better have a permit. The other rule is also simple. Keep the peace. Here on on, we maintain a careful neutrality and we react very harshly to people who jeopardize our neutral status. Okay, so don't mess with the Swiss. I take it that is also punishable by death. Any confrontations between the Sith and the Republic are dealt with swiftly and decisively. Swiftly and decisively. Understood. All right. <laughs> How can you be neutral when the Sith are trying to con? Yeah, provoking the security guard doesn't seem smart. That's it. Only two laws. Let let. Don't prod the police. Let's go. I understand. There is a docking fee of a hundred credits. You'll have to pay this fee each time. Dude, everybody else charges me once. Uh, my persuade is not that high, but let's give it a shot. <laughs> nope. The amount of the fee is legislated by the Board of Trade and Tourism. I am not at liberty to haggle on this matter. All right. I can do the Force Persuade. The question is, how much will Jolie like that? Because I am trying to curry favor with all my little minions there. And I know HK won't care. But, um... Uh, mm, no, I need him for some stuff coming up. So let's go. Right, here's the fee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take my money. The man on board of trade and tourism thanks you awful little. Here's a visitor's guide and a map to the city. The gates of the city are now open. Come go as you please, as long as you do not leave the planet. Yeah, man. Kashik and everybody else just charged me the one time. Hmm. Alright. Nothing on this side. Just a security droid. Obey the laws here on Manon, human. Okay. This is good to know I've been pronouncing it right. Alright. Hello. <laughs> Alright, no time to talk. What about you? Greetings. No time to talk. There's a lot of money to be made in the Republic in times like these. If you survive, If you can survive, of course. Of course, of course. Alright. Uh, before I start heading over to the East Central Courtyard, let me just uh, run around real quick. Make sure we've talked to everybody we came. Greetings. I don't have time to talk. I think I already talked to you. Yeah. Alright. Private conversation. You gonna say the same thing? You gonna say the same thing? The fighting between the Republic and the Sith is spreading farther. I wonder how long before Manan becomes a battleground. Yeah, that is a good question. Why are you disturbing me? Can you see I'm overseeing the packaging of this Colta? Oh. And what options are you going to have? <laughs> I'd like to buy some of your Colta? No, I don't have a permit. I don't want to get killed for illegal smuggling. So I'm going to ask some questions. Far more pressing matters. Yada yada. The culture is the backbone of Manana's economy. <laughs> You're obviously in the wrong place. I suggest you visit the courthouse west of you. Ooh. Ooh. There you might be of some use instead of a hindrance? Seriously? Okay. That's the Colto Distribution Center. I probably ought not be poking around in just yet. Okay. Again with the rude thing. Alright, I want to try out the west end of things first. I believe... Oh! The Sith soldier. I don't remember seeing you. don't know what they're going to miss. When the Sith Empire finally crushes the Republic, then we'll see how long they're 
quality lasts. Yeah, assuming it works out that way. I might try to fix that. Alright, new central courtyard. Here we go. And this is looking like some more trouble. Alright. What are we about to walk in the middle of? Malik turns his armada loose on Coruscant itself. Save your empty threats, Sith scum. Malik isn't stupid enough to attack the core worlds. Now with the entire Republic fleet waiting for him. You're a fool. When the Sith descend on Coruscant, our numbers will block out the sun itself. The galactic mm. senators will collapse trembling in fear and beg for mercy at Malik's feet. Yeah, you underestimate the Republic's scum. resolve. We'll die before we <laughs> surrender Coruscant. That can be arranged. Remember what happened Remember what to happened Taris. To Taris. Yeah. Could do the same to the core worlds. He wouldn't dare. Now it is you who underestimate our Oh, resolve. he would dare, but I don't think he'd get away with that. All right. Let's try talking to the Republic first. Yeah, I know. A lot of the voices Those are just that cheesy. They're always trying to goad us. Why don't the Selkath stop them? Okay. What about you? I have to stop talking to Sith. They make me want to break so many laws just to pound the smirk off their faces. If it wasn't for those damn Selkath neutrality laws, I'd teach that Sith a thing or two. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, do I want to be an instigator? Don't be such a coward. Teach those Sith a lesson. <laughs> no. Uh, anger leads to the dark side, or Republic must respect the law. I'm thinking, let's, um... <laughs> execute... No, no, not execute Order 66. And besides, that's a little ways away from now. Alright, let's, uh... Let's appeal to respect of uh, the law. I suppose you're right. You probably know best. <laughs> you are a Jedi, after all. I guess getting mad is company. Well, as long as the Sith stay out of my way, I'll stay out of theirs. All right. And what do you have to say, good sir? <laughs> Are you? There's so cat everywhere. Do you choose to speak with me? Actually, yes, I do think you have answers that others do not. I would just like you to rather strange greeting. Strange times that the Republic battle control galaxy, but their war destroys what they both seek to possess. Ain't that the truth? The war sows fear and confusion. People are lost. They want guidance, direction. They have questions. They want answers. That's... You're here to seek answers. Good. So am I. Why did the game put you here? Answers to what? The Republic, the Sith, the war, everything, nothing. Why, why don't you just have a little shirt that says 42 on it? Uh... Okay. Oh, so we are going to have an actual conversation. For a second I thought you were going to be one of those guys that just chatters on randomly until you lose the will to continue conversing. Oh, that's right. This is the guy I need to see. I almost forgot about that. Alright, so let's start with the name. <laughs> Okay, more double talk. Now we know something about each other, but we still know nothing. What do you want with me? Well, somebody gave me a message to see you. <laughs> this name means nothing to me. Are you certain this person told you? Yes, I'm sure. The game has a... Maybe there's a joke. Dude, enough with the double talk. Uh, sure, let's lay it all out on the table. 
He gave me this data pad. That word means nothing to me. If you want to speak like a fool, you should at least have the sense not to do it in front of a... Oh, okay. I believe we should end this discussion before you embarrass yourself further in front of your Oh, but you want a uh, solo discussion? I guess I could ditch them somewhere else. Let's double check that journal entry, though. Uh, da, da, da. There we go. He tried talking to Hulus about the Jinohadarian, but he claimed not to know anything. Maybe he will speak to you if you leave the rest of your party back in the Ebon Hawk. Okay. All right. I'll come back to that one a little bit later. Don't let me forget. <laughs> shady Rodian. Why, yes, I would like to speak to the Shady Rodian. Okay. Why do you bother me, human? I do not wish to speak to you. I don't know. If you really didn't want to talk to me, I wouldn't be able to click on you. Uh, why are you standing here in a corner? Eh, let's go with a few questions. I'm not here to give you knowledge. Do business with me or leave. Well, what kind of business do you have to do? Business? Oh, he trades and sells bizarre cards. Okay. Yeah, I... Dude, I'd love to talk. But I'm not playing the game. I am not a card shark. Alright, let's finish up in here before we start opening up doors. I cannot render assistance, citizen. <laughs> Move along. Move along. Alright, so he's not part of that group over there. Greetings, so Master you're... Jedi. I hope you have a pleasant stay here on Lanai. If you have any questions oh. or needs, please direct them to our envoy, Roland Wan, at our embassy. No, it's more like poker. And you get some cards that are worth plus a couple of points, and some cards that are minus a couple of points. Not in poker, uh, blackjack. And uh, some cards are plus points, some cards are minus points, and you got to end up at 20, yeah, at 20 or closest. Malak will show you republics how a war is really waged. <laughs> no, you won't. You republics sicken me. We'll do the galaxy a favor by wiping you out. Okay. What about you, good sir? What? Uh. Another Republic lackey wandering the streets. <laughs> Don't worry, the Sith will destroy you. Republic along with all lackey the wandering the, the streets. Alright. I have no. <laughs> You'll want to change your tone. You wouldn't be the first Sith I've killed. Ooh, that is tempting. That is very tempting. No, no, no. I have no wish to trade childish. I have nothing words. more to say to you. I have important Sith business to attend to. Now go away, or I shall taunt you a second time. All right? Is that it? Is that the direction we're going? Because that feels like the direction we're going. All right. Ooh, what's over at the general store? Hello, assistant droid. Okay. You have nothing. How much for all this stuff, Tybark? <laughs> oh? <laughs> for the Sith, a month's pay, but since you're a member of the Republic, I will charge you a week's salary. Thanks, Tybark. Catch you next week. Dude. The he gives a Republic Tybark's discount. Tybark's prices are the best in the city. Yeah, he charged you a quarter what he charges the Sith? I'd go here all the time, too. What you got, good sir? The Sulkaths now seem more distant than before. They treat members of the Republic at arm's length only. I hope this does not negatively impact their trade. If they give too much deference to the Sith, then the monsters will simply come and take it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but my feelings about the Sith are well known. Shall spare you further outburst. What may I do for you? Offer me prices like you offered that guy over there. Alright, what you got in stock? As you wish. Finest Aratech equipment you can find on the Far superior to the Zerker Corpse will the Sith are fond of. <laughs> Good to have pride in your gear.
All right, um, let's double check real quick. I'm a little short on the advanced med packs, but I haven't needed them all that much, and I've got plenty of the regular kind. I think those are the same 10 antidote kits I've had since Terrace, so uh, pretty good there. I'll keep the repair and construction kits. That seems to be good enough. I'm tempted to sell the security spikes and tunnelers because one of the uh, one of the minions will make them for me on the Ebon Hawk. And I could turn that around for the money, but on the other hand, I know the minute I sell them off, that's when I'm going to wish I needed them. So uh, I'll hold off on that. And yeah, I think... Yeah, those, those are all okay. So let's go to the buy list again. There's a military suit, which is bog standard stock that we've already seen. I think I've got as good or better on everybody who can wear it. Same for the combat suit and the battle armor and the light battle armor. Uh, those are the Bothan stun sticks that were useless when I found them back on uh, Terrace. And they're even more useless now. And yeah, dude. I thought you had good... Oh, okay. No, here we go. Now we're getting to the good stuff. Alright, a Bothan Needler. Is that where a Bothan needles you until you give him the plans? Oh, wait, no. Wrong movie. Um, requires proficiency in blaster pistols, which just about everybody's got. It's only 3 to 6 energy damage, though. 25% uh, chance to stun, though. Can be used in the offhand. Plus two to attack. Hmm. Yeah, no. That that stun's not worth it. Not for 1750. Alright, what about this uh, pistol here? No, that's, that's about as good as all the other pistols, except for the plus two attack. But um, it's not doing enough to make it worthwhile. What about the heavy pistol? Two to nine... Plus one to attack. Yeah. Not that much better than what I've got going right now. Same thing for the disruptor pistol, the sonic pistol, that's your regular blaster pistol, your holdout blaster, battle cannon. Ooh. That battle cannon might be worth it. Because I know HK behind me there is uh, not as well armed as I would like. Plus 3 to attack, 6 to 13 energy damage. He's got the blaster rifle proficiency, so... Alright, let's take a look at that. And the light repeating blaster. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Double the cost, but a lot better. What about the blaster carbine? 1 to 8, no... Ion rifle, I kind of figured, wouldn't be. Disruptor rifle, certainly wouldn't be. Yeah, that's I've got one of those floating around somewhere. Hmm. Pistol targeting optics. Ah, uh, grants you bonus feats, weapons focus, and weapons specialization blaster pistol. Except everybody that could use that already has those feats. So not worth the money. Combat sensor does both of those and gives a plus two to dexterity. Nice, but uh, not for 6k. Because the only benefit I'd get from that is a plus two dex. Stabilizer mask, immune to all mind affecting. And plus two to all saves. Ooh. That could be worth it. 5,500 is kind of expensive, and there's only one of them. But that is an immunity to all mind affecting and a plus two to all saves. I'll have to think about that. And plus four to awareness. That's immune to poison. Everybody that could use that has got it. Same with that. Beeman package? Ooh, plus three to constitution. 
That's tempting. That's extra hit points right there. Alright, and oh, single use and stun ray. Might have to come back another time and take a look at some of the other stuff, but uh that battle cannon. Let me uh you know what? Let's double check since he would be the guy that would need it anyway. Oh. I saw it alright, so that's three to ten. Chance to stun, plus two to attack. Yes? Wrong guy. There we go. Yep, yep, yep. Let's see what you got. So the original one was three to ten, plus two to attack. That's six to thirteen. Plus three to attack. Yes, please. I will gladly take that off your hands. Thank you very much. And before I forget, let's go ahead and... You, good sir. Would like one of these guys. Yeah, let's take a look at the stat jump again from 3 to 10. Plus 22 to hit, 3 to 10 damage. We now get plus 23 to hit. <laughs> and 6 to 13 for damage. Good. Excellent. Oh wait, wrong character. Alright, so. We have spent a little more than I meant to at the general store. What else we got going around over here? Other than floating security droids. Uh -huh. What about these guys? Greetings, don't have time to talk to you. Greetings, don't have time to talk to you. What's behind this door? Ah, this is over to the east courtyard. Hmm. Down the way we go. Nope. Without tripping over the Roomba. Swoop fan. Uh oh. Hey, I've already had some. This street is for Sith only. You gotta pay a 20 credit toll to walk down this street. <laughs> Man, I am so tempted. You can have your credits when you take them from my cold dead hand. No. Public street. Behind the Selkath laws. Typical Republic cowards. Huh. Yeah. We need more rules about overpowered bikes. Hookta just rides over everything. It's boring watching him. Huh. Back right. off, Republic scum. A man like you couldn't hope to satisfy a Sith woman. Oh. Okay. I didn't realize the game was going to go there. Out of my way. Unless you want to feel the wrath of the Sith. Huh. Maybe I should just split you open from head to toe. How's that for wrath? No. <laughs> Your words are all sound and fury, signifying nothing. Thumbs up in the chat if you caught that reference. Yeah, I th you know what? I think this time I'm going to go with, I've seen the wrath of the Sith. I wasn't impressed. The wrath of the Sith is a terrible thing. Remember Taris? You'll see. You'll Remember all Taris. see. You'll see. You'll all see. Back off, Republic scum. A man yeah, like yeah, you yeah. couldn't hope to satisfy a Sith. A bear lies. A law binding visitor does not go to prison. That's usually how that works. Okay, why are you disturbing me? I did not indicate. I wish to converse with you. Uh, <laughs> you need an attitude adjustment? No. Don't poke the police. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that either. Consult your diplomat if you have questions. If you didn't know them, go to the Republic Enclave and find them. Well, thank you for being so helpful, good sir. 
I appreciate your kindness and generosity. <laughs> He's paid to be of service, I am not. Well, okay then. If it's a matter of paying for your services. Alright. What else we got? Probably more Sith and whatnot bickering in the street, but let's go ahead and make the loop. Bother everybody we can. A lost off A lost off wounder, perhaps. You're probably here for the sweet races. Track us through the West Corridor. Get moving. I believe Creedle hmm. Malta has taken the top spot. I prefer the professional races. His wing oh. is just a fluke. An aberration. Just a fluke, huh? <laughs> yeah. I could go with I don't think I asked you your opinion, but uh that seems like provoking trouble, so let's just go I could ask you a few questions. The don't suffer questions for long. Alright, what do you think I of the soup races? True. But it's more about hating races I don't think should win than actually <laughs> paying tribute to those I fear. Well, okay then. Who Dr. do you Jax like? shows the proper spirit of competition, and it has brought him to the top before. The Gamorian? You're joking. Brute force to the finish. He's very efficient. Hmm. Okay, good to know. Go back Hurry to the up. first question. It's a poor use of my time. You should know not to annoy one yeah. of my kind. Oh yeah, I will. I will annoy you as long as the game will let me. Then what about seek out a helpful fish for answers. I have no interest in the affairs of the Selkath, and you have no reason to inquire about mine. Okay. Of course you do. Good riddance. What about you, good sir? Have you heard the good news of the what Republic? What do you want, Greenback? I don't have the time or desire to bother speaking with wandering idiots. You're probably another race fan in a fool stoop after that big win by local wealth Queedle Molten. Yeah, I don't like how hostile you are, but that doesn't seem wise. So let's just go. I could I ask you a few questions? So make it quick. Mm. You Nothing the about races. the current state of races makes me want the to races, watch. A night at the opera? Especially if it means associating with the cattle grouped in there now. Oh. Huh. Oh. All right. There are I no races you like. I admire the mercenary spirit of Cassandra Matil. Other than that, no. Her mercenary spirit isn't what's selling your prints. She does have. <laughs> other qualities as well. Oh. Other qualities as well. Gotcha. Alright, let's go back to the first Harry, question. This is a poor use of my time. You should know not to annoy one of my kind. Oh, I know. Right. Grow some gills and swim the planet yourself. There's no substitute <laughs> for personal experience. <laughs> I have nothing else to say on the subject. Okay. All right. Goodbye. This visit was dragging on. Yeah. I have not yet begun to annoy you. Yeah, before I go behind the we door, might have let's a just loop. The Sith organization for one such as you. Your offer is pretty good. But I've heard some nasty things about you, Sith. Is it true you bombed Terrace into dust? Yes, it's this true. Is war. In war, certain distasteful acts cannot be avoided. But ask yourself this, when we win this war, would you rather be against the Sith or with us? You make a good point. And I've never turned down a job that pays up front. Excellent. Report to the Sith Embassy tomorrow for your hmm. assignment. Well, okay then. Somebody's buying up the talent. Sorry, but you're too late to recruit me. I've just hired on with the Sith. Of course, if the Republic has a better offer. Uh, they're evil. I'm not a recruiter. You'd work for the Sith. Can I ask you I a few have time questions? To sit here and answer nope. your questions. I have to get ready. The Sith want me to report to their embassy first thing tomorrow. Okay. Sorry, but you're too late to recruit me. I've just. Alright, let's try to get through your lectures. The Sith pay okay. well, and they pay up front. That's all I care about. Well, okay then. 
I have no desire to speak to you. <laughs> I know you have links to the Republic. Was it the lightsaber in my hand that gave it away? Right. What about you, good sir? Nope. I hear the Zerka Corp got kicked off of Kashik by the locals. Good for them. Yep. At least someone's getting something back from them. Oh, wow. That's, uh... Mm, that's rough. There's a lot of credits to be made in the Republic in times like these. If we survive. <laughs> Okay, no time, no time. Not that worth. <laughs> what is behind? Nope. That's not the door. This is the door. What do we have this away? Yortel's Emporium. You got any armor plating for my swoop bike? Dented armor plating? Who is going to buy dented armor plating? I thought this garbage was free. You actually sell this junk? You fish are a strange breed. Yeah, insulting the shopkeeper probably isn't the best way to get your gear. <laughs> Alright. We've got a real customer story, you know. Don't worry, junk man. When I want garbage, I'll be back. Alright. What you got? <laughs> Are you here to mock me? Is this it? Or do you actually want to buy something? I'm not here to make fun of you. I'm interested in buying. Attitude, attitude, attitude. Yeah, poking at him about the attitude is probably not going to get me anything much less at a decent price. Let's start by... I'm not here to make fun of you. Yeah. Sith makes such trouble. Slow business. Yeah, apology accepted. Ah, the used goods store. Okay. I didn't realize this was a used goods store. That explains the dented armor a little bit better. Alright, uh... Let's try the questions first. I fear I'll be a little help with providing information to you. I spend most of my time here in the shop or out collecting inventory. Okay. Okay. Then at night I'm too exhausted to do anything but return home and sleep in preparation for the next day. Dude. I hear you on that one. I will do my best to answer your questions. Yeah, you already mentioned that part. Let's get to the part where you actually, you know, offer me a list of questions. Uh, <laughs> how'd you come to run a junk pile or use good shop? No, but, ooh, he's the first person we've been able to ask about the star map, so, uh, what's he got? I know of no such thing in Ato City. This is the only city I'm non suited to non cell count. If there are any ancient ruins of their culture, they would rot lie there. Alright. Let's take a look at the inventory then. My stock is all second hand and some of it is minor damage. But with repairs I've done to them, my items are as good as new. Good as new. Alright, what you got? Ooh. I could always use more computer spikes. Yeah, let's go ahead and buy those up. Ooh. Here we go. Heavy plating type 3, defense bonus of 11, of 9, of 5, of 4, 5, 4. 
All right. Um, oof. That's 2K, though. I'm going to have... All right. I might have to come back here a little bit later once I find out what my droids have. Now that I know that I found the dude who sells the good stuff for them. Because I think a defense bonus of 11 is going to be an upgrade for at least one of them. I just don't know if it's enough of an upgrade to warrant shelling out 2K. What else we got? Advanced targeting computers, which gives weapons focus, blaster pistol, blaster rifle. That'd be nice, but... uh. The only one of the two that could actually use that already has those feats. Demolitions Probe. Increases demolitions by pl the skill plus four. It's not bad, but not, not worth a thousand. Targeting computer. Okay. That's a cheaper in bo all senses of the word. Security plus two. Computer use plus two. I've got a few shields. Gravity generator. Doesn't do any damage, but on hit, the target is slowed 75% for nine seconds. That's a thought. DC 15. Yeah, you know what? Slowed 75% or stunned 100%. I've already got a stun ray and a flamethrower, so, uh, and a shield disruptor. So I think I'll hang on to those. Alright. Good to know that he's here. Just out of curiosity real quick. Which plating does he have in here? Yeah, see, he's already got a defense bonus of 10. So... 2k to bump that up to 11 mm. not yet not yet if it starts looking like he's getting his butt kicked or he's losing health way too quick I'll reconsider it then but for now that's just not enough of an increase to warrant the, uh, the cost uh oh do I really want to keep going down this path alright let's ask Move about your business, human. Mm -hmm. Move about your business, human. Yeah, I figured all Move you guys have nothing business, to say, human. but just to check. Move about your business, human. Okay, you good sir are probably uh... only people who have business with the Sith are allowed inside the embassy. <laughs> I was gonna say I have business with the Sith, but I don't think I do have business with the Sith. All right. You can ask. But I doubt you'll get many answers you'll like. Go. Okay. Stay. Doesn't matter to me. If you want to, you can even wander up to the embassy gates. <laughs> but don't expect to get inside. Well, okay then. I won't expect to go inside. Alright, that is the droid shop. There's our wandering mercenary who's already taken up an offer. With the synth. And let us head this way. What's behind this door? A Roomba. Oh! The swoop races! Nice. I think I've seen him before. Alright, uh, let's make our way around the outside first. Beetle's local favorite. Cassandra's a fine racer. You here to cheer Cassandra? She's a fine racer. I hope she knocks Hukta out of the running. Hukta Jax is insane. He just smashes through everything to the finish. I guess we should expect that from a Gamorian. Yeah. You'll have to get in line for the good seats when the races start. There's a lot of people that want to see them. Hey, come to cheer your favorite swoop, Jock? Well, this is the place now the terrace is gone. Ooh. Yeah. 
All right, what about you? Oh, Queedle, you're one of the racers. You probably want to talk to professional racers, then the races lounge the room just to the east. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That usually says we amateur racers. Very sad, just to answer my questions. No, let, all right, let's start with the regular questions. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna be going back out on the track. Alright. Do I ask about him and racing? He probably doesn't know much about Manon. So far, every racing track, the races have been all like, yeah, I, I drive fast and turn left. If you want information, talk to somebody else. Alright, so... Alright, let's start with the Jedi question first. What's bothering you? <laughs> not getting any better out there. I race hard and I think I have good skills, but I just can't afford to keep up with the professionals. Swoop bikes are modified with best equipment. There's only so much you can do with a barber tool kit and standard parts. You know, I keep hearing people talk about modifying the swoop bikes, but um, I haven't found anybody who will modify mine. I can't afford to make this my life. I want to keep going, yada yada, no money, can't win, don't win, no money. Okay. <laughs> so it's going to be a sad story for a loan that is. Alright. Let's ask the nice question. How much do you think you need? Five hundred credits. Yeah. Bad stories. Uh, I guess you better just give up. There's no way you can earn the money. If I had that much, I get. Oh, well, I do have that much. So you know what? I've been getting everybody else money in this game, and mostly it's turned out pretty good for me. So let's. All right. Here, I can give it to you. You're just giving me 500 credits? Well, yes. Good things usually come from that. Maybe I can improve my round one time after all. Oh. <laughs> come back to East Alton in a day or so after the changes are made. Hope it helps. Maybe I'm just not good enough. Yes, we'll see. Alright. Let's go back to my first questions. <laughs> Wanna get my soup upgrade done soon? Yada yada. Alright, what do you know about my Lived here for more than 10 years. Work in the purification and processing plant. Oh, hey, you're a racer with some information. I was not expecting that. And all the time I'm learning. Oh, okay, never mind. And all the time I've learned very little about the Silk Out and their way of life. They don't like off world as much, even if their politics are neutral. I can't get used to the Sith presence here, but everyone is interested in Manon to some degree. All because of the Colto. Kind of got that idea earlier. Yeah, everybody likes the Colto. So, what do you know about the Colto? You need to make my packs. And Manon is the only place to get it. That's all anyone knows, I think. Well, that's all anybody's told me so far. Yeah, have the Sith been a problem? No. But it's not everything to have with you. Especially after Terrace. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whole planet got bombed and destroyed. The soup circuit was really hurt by that. Seriously. Okay. Uh. What about Jane Racing? <laughs> oh, poor pitiful me. I'm just one of the failing amateur racers. 
All right. Uh, is Manon a good course for racing? Right. Uh, that is a good question. So far, I've been earning the racing bonds, and that was a source of a significant bump in income. Uh, after winning all three rounds on Tatooine. Right, so he hasn't raced anywhere else. Or for me, I'd probably do just as bad on another track. Alright. What can you tell me about the other racers? Captain Jackson, Cassandra, Mattel are the only two pros that keep themselves in the racers' lounge. Okay. The only thing I can really say about them is I'll never get close to beating them. I should, I should probably just give up racing. I didn't know Eeyore was uh, one of you guys. Alright. He's the one who gave you a go. Yeah. Okay. I'll put the one here to upgrades. Don't think it'll help. This might just not be good enough. <laughs> I need like a little Eeyore thing that I can just pop over the screen. Thanks for the help either way. Alright, first questions. Uh, Alright. Oh, light side points gained. Okay. See, XP, light side points. That's worth 500 credits. Alright, that's the racer's round. He's probably the guy that does the... One of those two guys does the registration. Let's go back. I'm pretty sure I've seen him before. Trading seaman have begun to watch the super races, find that excellent way to relieve stress, yada yada. In my business, I need all the stress relief I can get. What kind of business are you in? Do I really want to know? I don't really want to know. And what is your business exactly? A merchant who deals, deals in very rare and expensive art. Uh -huh. He serves as the go-between for buyers and sellers throughout the galaxy. <laughs> Why do I get the thing you'd normally be working for the uh, mobster dude that you used to rule everything off the terrace? <laughs> I serve as his security advisor, a highly demanding job. The fact that he seems to delight in insulting and berating me makes it even more difficult. Hmm. Do I want to insult? Your job doesn't sound that hard to me. I can see how that would be very stressful. Alright, let's ask about the Sith uniform. <laughs> I just wear this uniform to gain respect. People are less likely to give me trouble if they think I might be with the Sith. Yeah, that pretty much is the only question. The, the Sith so far have shown that they're not all that keen about any non-Sith anything. So, uh, they, they might take... They might take issue with that. Well, maybe. I don't know, there's a maybe about it. Uh, but the Sith here Manon aren't about to do anything to get them in trouble. Not if it means getting sanctions against their cultish ships. Okay. I see how it is. I'm safe. So long as I stay <laughs> As long as I don't actually... Okay. Okay, so... Dude. The Sith aren't that big on technicalities. It's not going to be like one of those... Well... I didn't actually say I was with the Sith. <laughs> I can see how that would be stressful. <laughs> Can't imagine how hard it would be dealing with the galaxy's cultural elite. Dude. You haven't seen some of the earlier episodes. 
Back on Terrace, I had that lady treating me like I was one of the servant people. Go ahead. Vent. <laughs> Sorry for the outburst, can you relax, yada yada. Let me wish you a good day. Day the races. Okay. Zina. Kipuna na bonsha. Kavadumpa kupariyaya moka pat. Greetings to you off order. Are you here as a spectator or will you be entering the field as a contender? Could have been a contender. Hmm. Can you help me with information? Nope. But I'm sure there are others that will have what you need. My duty is to organize the races and I pay attention to little else. Alright, this is what I'm more used to in the racing areas. Of course, with the destruction in Terrace, we're a bit of a rebuilding phase. Our sector champion. Alright, um. Will he buy that I was a season opener? <laughs> okay, I hesitate to believe that. Sith interference disrupted any hollow feed that might have verified your story. We only know that all on Terrace were lost. Not everybody. You will improve your skill here regardless of experience. Ah, okay, so I don't need to impress you with, uh, 100 credits for each official attempt. Yeah, just like on Tatooine. 100 bucks to race. Alright, uh, what about the rewards? Galactic standard three round system, each round pays differently. Okay. Huh. Alright, it would not give me the question if uh it wouldn't be different, so Tatooine used tears. Um, okay. Tatooine is not recognized and won't be while Mata insists on refusing to accept galactic standards. When the circuit is re-established, he'll fall in line. I don't know. You ever try to get a hut to fall in line? Here's the on round one is domain of the hobbyist and amateurs. Just can't afford the faster soups yet. Yada yada. Round two is populated by beginner tour touring racers. They have decided to invest in the sport and are attempting to make it pay. Round three is only attainable by seasoned professionals. There have been exceptions, but only rare. And what does each round pay? Round one pays 500 credits. Round two pays 2,000 credits. Round three is 5k. Hmm. Okay, so no racing bonds, which kind of has me sad, but... Because I think home... I think the guy over on the Yavin Station paid better than what the pot is here. But, um... Uh, Alright. Let's hear about the current crop of racers. <laughs> Okay, again with the Terrans, took a great many racers. Our biggest attractions are Cassandra and Hukta. They're really the only touring professional present for this tournament. Greedle is the racer getting the biggest response, a little favorite, very talented. Oh, Eeyore. Okay. Get back to their questions. <laughs> Always accommodating to the racers. Alright, do I want to go ahead and try to do a round right now? Alright, I'll be back later. <laughs> I love how they just assume that I'm going to race anyway. Like, we would be having this conversation if I wasn't going to race. Alright. 
What do you have to say? Looking to book the soup court. Uh, okay, so you're the guy I talked to about the practice runs. Because I would like to do a practice run just to check it out. Small positioning fee of 20 credits to have the bike ready. I think what I will do is... Um, like I did on Tatooine, I'll do the races off camera just because uh, it gets kind of boring watching a couple hours of repeated failure attempts and a lot of heavy size and uh, all that. But let me do a practice run just so that way you guys can see the course. And, uh, yeah, between this week and next, I'll probably do the rest of the races and try to max out the course. Although, next time I'll have the recording software ready so that, uh... probably a bad run. But it looks like, like I need to hang a little bit more to the right. That's a good run. You do well in a tournament. <laughs> uh, will somebody please tell me the times that I'm up against? Because I'm not sure if I want to call that a good run or not. Uh, no thanks. Alright. I will have to find out if that was a legit good run or not. Okay. So nothing else to do here. Nope, nothing that way. I'm missing something. There's supposed to be a hotel over here. Or maybe it's not over here. Maybe it's over in... Maybe I missed that area. Alright, there's the guards. The Sith and the Soup Racers. Maybe I took the wrong exit off of the courtyard. Because there is supposed to be a hotel somewhere around here. With a wonderful side quest that I wanted to spend the bulk of today on. That's the West Central Courtyard. I'm always down this way. Where's that at? I just did an advent... Oh, uh, there's the Republic Embassy. There's the Visitor's Hotel. Okay. I just went to the wrong place. Sorry, what do you have buddy, to say, Mr. But the Ickes? hotel is closed. Ever since the murder, uh -oh. the Selkath have made me keep this place locked up tight. Only the Selkath authorities, and those authorized by them, are allowed in. Uh-oh. <laughs> Lie. Now. Okay. Over. This old Republic war hero by the name of Sunri was seeing the Sith woman here. Alasa. Oh. Well, they were seeing each other, but the other night a blaster went off in one of the rooms. Sunri got seen leaving the place, and the Sith woman was dead on the floor. But not everyone thinks this Sunri did it. So the Selkath are holding him in prison, while the case gets sorted out. In the meantime, they closed down my hotel. But enough about Which my room problems. Has Perry Mason? You can't stay here while the investigation <laughs> is on. You'll have to find someplace okay. else You'll have to, to some place Sorry. else. Sorry. Just so I have everything on the map. Yep. There's nothing to go in there. This room sealed by order. Guys. Acknowledgement. The one thing I hate about this game, sure. these guys will get in your way in a heartbeat. Ooh, nope, 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 nope. Not picking the locks. 
Okay. Alright. Let's head over to the embassy. So I gotta go talk to the embassy guy anyway. Welcome to Manan. I'm Roland Wan. As the official representative of the Republic Embassy on this planet, I'm here to help all citizens of the Republic should they require aid. Should they require aid? Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's start off with the Jedi mission. Oh, of course. Of course I'll do whatever I can. But I'm only a simple diplomatic representative <laughs> of the Republic. I doubt I can be of any use to the Jedi Council. I doubt you can too, but we'll try. I seek a An star ancient map. and forgotten race. And you think it may be here on Manan? Hmm. No, I know it'll be here. Well, you know something? Perhaps. But if you want to get information about that, you'll have to do something for me first. Okay. All right, what we do you want me to do? We were using a submersible reconnaissance droid in the ocean surrounding Otto City, and it was damaged. It took a data recording of the outside of the city before being driven <laughs> off by the Foraxan sharks. But while it was returning to the surface, it encountered difficulties and was disabled. Its automatic systems floated it to the surface, but we could not retrieve it in time. The Sith were applying subtle pressure to the Selkath authorities for some reason we've not determined and were able to delay us long enough that they could retrieve the droid before we did. Uh -huh. The droid's data centers okay. are heavily encrypted, so it will take the Sith several days, we believe, to get to its data. It was captured 12 hours ago. It is imperative that we get it back. What is this It's intelligence recording? information about Sith activities okay. on Manon, as huh. well as some actually graphic reports. gave me a straightforward radar. answer. I'm surprised at that. And where it's is the droid? Guarded. We're sure. Heavily the Sith Embassy here on Manan. Since we have no remaining soldiers to spare, <laughs> and certainly not our elite ones, we have no one capable Ooh. of entering the Sith base. Harsh, or but okay. That is what we would ask you to do. And how do there I get are several the leads base? we've been working on to get into the Sith base. Any of them should work for you. Although it might be wise to concentrate your efforts on just one. The first method that's possible is to help us interrogate a Sith prisoner we <laughs> managed to catch after he tried to infiltrate our base. He's being held just inside our enclave. We think he may be able to give us the passcode that the Sith give their informers to enter the base. He has proved most resilient so far. Mm-hmm. We what's managed the other to way? pick up a crate of blank Sith data cards, the type they use for pass cards. The encryption system to unlock them is very difficult, however. But if you are more skilled than our technicians, you may be able to gain access that way. And the Sith have got way? the Seltcalf to give them exclusive use of one of the main hangar bays. Visiting Sith Masters use this bay to land, then take a speeder over the water to an external entrance to the Sith Enclave. The luckless spy we mentioned earlier had a pass card to that hangar on him. While it is surely well guarded, it may prove to be the most direct route. Here's the card. The Sith base itself hmm. is very heavily guarded. If they became aware of your presence, I fear you would be quickly outnumbered and killed. Here is a pass card to get you inside our facility. You should find all you need to get started in there. You can choose whichever of the methods you want, as long as you get in the base and get the data recording back. Which method do you think you would like to try first? Hmm. That's a good question. Uh, let me actually let me try and target the prisoner. Just make sure you don't push <laughs> him too hard, or we might lose him. I wish you luck in your task. Should you retrieve the data recording from the droid, return it here to me, and we can see about getting you that information. I'm sorry, I'm on duty, citizen. Please refer any... I'm sorry, I'm on duty, citizen. Please refer any questions to our diplomatic corps. Thank you. Hmm. If you got a problem, go talk to our diplomatic representative. Don't bother me with it. So you're the one who's going to try to get into the Sith base, eh? Huh, good luck, you're going to need it. This is our main computer room here. We got the box of pass cards we got from the Sith, but we haven't been able to break their encryption yet. We have been able to decode the numeric system they use, but there are holes in our terminal sequence patterns. What the encryption of system is composed of six matrices. Each is based on a mathematical method. The holes we're missing are the final number in each of the strings. Most are simple, but the final two matrices seem to be much more difficult. 
Well, the second last matrix has a pattern looping back on itself, or something. And the last is divided into smaller subparts. Maybe the pattern for that is within each part. But I have to admit, <laughs> all this is a bit over my head. I haven't even been able to slice past the first matrix, and I've been at this for hours. I've ruined a dozen cards already. But the good thing is, we have a whole box of them, so you don't have to worry about running out anytime soon. Since Roland said you were cleared, you can use the computer freely. I'll be here if you have any questions. Okay. You know, before I go poking around too much further, let me go ahead and do a save game. Just in case. Okay. Nope. All right. What you so got? you're the one Roland has got to help us interrogate this prisoner. I hope your Jedi powers will come in useful. This one has been most resistant. Most resistant. He's a Sith spy we picked up a little while ago, snooping around outside trying to get in. We thought he was suspicious and brought him inside when the Selkath weren't looking. But it seems the Sith have done a pretty good job of conditioning this guy, and we haven't been able to break him yet. Uh. What was he We're doing not sure there? exactly. If you can convince him to talk, we should be able to find that all out. Yeah, what do the they Sith do to protect their really important spies with some sort of mental force feedback system. They can turn their minds in on themselves, so force compulsions won't affect them. Hmm. Combine this with conventional training to resist interrogation, and sometimes it takes months to get them to tell what they know. Do you want to interrogate him now? Sure. Well, the training we'll the Sith shot. gave him will protect him from most normal interrogation techniques, and also from force persuasion. We have found a few hooks you might find useful. He was with another okay. man when he was first spotted. We think it was another spy, but we didn't manage to catch him. We also seized some personal documents he had on him when he was captured. It would seem that he's married to a woman named Tila. We checked this uh -huh. in our computers, and it seems to hold up. We've sent a couple of agents to investigate, but it may be a while. What, what we have here with? is your standard issue truth serum. It should make him spill his guts in no time. But there is a catch. There's always a catch. Because of his conditioning, he's able to resist it at small doses. But if you give him too much, his body realizes what you're trying to do and shuts his mind down completely. If you do that, you'll have to inject him with an antidote that neutralizes the truth serum. Unfortunately, that too has a drawback. That too has a drawback. I see it a causes short-term memory loss. This may work to your advantage because you can try the same tactic over and over again. But if you use it too much, he may forget everything we want to know. Shall we get it started then? No, no problem. He's not going anywhere for a long time. Alright. This really wasn't the quest I wanted to pick up just yet. There was another quest that I was looking for. This was not the one I wanted to do just now. Because I know this takes me out of the area, and I got a couple other things that I want to do before I get there. So, go back to our map. That's the Republic Enclave. That's the restricted access. That's the hotel that's not taking guests. That's the shop. All right. The East Courtyard was what I did before, so let me go back to the West Central area. And try the other side. But I could have sworn that the quest was supposed to trigger when we got further this way. All right. Or maybe it's because I haven't, I've already talked to, or I hadn't, uh, known there was a murder yet. Let me make my way back. Either way, I'll try the other side. Just because I'd like to map that out. 
Yada yada yada. Still the soldiers. And that was the holding area. And what was off in the west courtyard? Elora? Jody, it is you. Ah, you're the one I wanted to talk to. I need your help. Elora, to all the people. How did you even know I'd let Kashik? I didn't. Nobody knew where you were, not even Sunry. But I heard the Selkath mention you and your friends. The Force has brought you to help us. Why? Whatever could be the matter? What the matter? It's horrible, Jolie. Sunry has been arrested. The Sith have accused him of murder. Murder? But how? It's all a mistake, Jolie. Sunry isn't a murderer. Someone is trying to frame him. Calm down, Elora. Where's Sunry now? Sunry's being held at the Selkath courts. They won't let anyone in to see him. Please. Go to the courts, talk courts. to the judges. Talk to the judges. Maybe the Selkath will listen to you. Don't worry, Elora. We'll get to the bottom of this and help Sunry. Somehow. Alright, quest accepted. Sunry's being held at the Selkath courts. They won't let anyone in to see him. Please, go to the courts. Talk to the judges. Maybe the Selkath will listen to you. Will listen Don't to worry, Elora. We'll get to the bottom of this and help Sunry somehow. Dude, dude, I was talking to her. All right. Something tells me nothing's going to change until we get the court. Let's take a quick lap, see what else we got in this area. Okay, you're named. What do you have? I wish to speak with you all the time. Greetings, human. Our floating city is beautiful, is it not? <laughs> Cut the small talk, what do you want? Yeah, I'm getting that kind of vibe over here, but let's go if you're a lot more friendly than most. My people are suspicious of outsiders. They fear the destruction of our beautiful planet. The beauty of Manon is delicate. Our ecosystem is complex and fragile, and I am the character here to bludgeon you to death with an environmental message. I mean, uh, what are you talking about? There's a task I would ask, human Jedi. I fear there is nowhere else I can turn. And what would you like me to do? <laughs> I only require information. Uh -huh. Alright. The Republic has been hiring mercenaries, many more than usual. As an official of the Selkath people, this is of great concern. I only seek the reason for this change in Republic policy. Probably because the Sith have been hiring about it. And why do you need me for this? <laughs> the Republic obviously wants to keep it a secret. I've inquired often as to their progress, yada yada. Sith can't be trusted given an accurate report. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? They will twist the truth so it furthers their own goals. And the mercenaries are well aware of the high wages of the I don't know, last mercenary I talked to was being hired by a Sith, not a Republic. But, uh... I'll poke around on this side of town. Maybe I'll find out that it's different. Uncover the truth behind the Republic's actions and I'll pay you 500 credits. Be careful here, kid. Start poking your nose in a place that doesn't belong and you might not like what you find. <laughs> see if you can find the answers I seek. Find why the Republic is hiring so many mercenaries. Find where they are going. Why they do not return. Dun, dun, dun. Are we sure it's the Republic is hiring? 
forget it. I'm not interested. I'll do it, but only for the money. I mean, if we're being honest, I really am doing it only for the money. But, uh, I'll look into it for you. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm a friend of the Republic. Whatever the truth. Mm -hmm. Okay. we got going on in here. Manan may not seem very hospitable, but a surprising amount of trade runs through it because yeah. of the Colto trade. I hope you're here to play some Pazak. I don't come here looking for sparkling conversation. <laughs> nope. So clear out already. And I thought the natives were unfriendly. Alright, let's make our way around the edge. Alright, you don't talk. I am not for hire. Perhaps the Mandalorian or the Achani can help you, though they lack the stomach for certain jobs. Okay. <laughs> I want to ask you some questions. What do you have against the Achani and the Mandalorians? Mercenary who's not for hire. Yeah, let's lead off Why with that one. Care? There are other mercenaries you can hire, though I suggest you act quickly. The Republic seems to be in desperate need of mercenaries right now. Though not so okay. desperate, they have asked for my help as of yet. They prefer the simpering, submissive Ooh. type, like the Mandalorian or Dude. the Achani. You're so lucky I don't have my resident Mandalorian on the team. Uh, why is the Republic on the team? The Republic prefers not to deal with my kind. Though maybe they need an Iridorian to finish the job. The mercenaries they hire must be failing, as they are never heard from again. That is all I know. Is there more you wish to ask? Yeah. Manan has no such things, unless the Selkath have them hidden away at the bottom of the ocean. Is there more you would know? Perhaps you should ask them. The mercenaries... Okay. Yes, Fine. I'm not surprised. There are a few on this watery world who feel comfortable. Uh, it's not about feeling presence. comfortable, it's about you have nothing else to offer me. Alright, what for about you? For a while, the Republic were hiring anyone they could get their hands on. Now they don't have any use for us, Mercs. It's too bad. I could have used the work. Okay. If you're here to offer me a job, I'm not interested right now. I got so many offers, I can't keep up as it is. Maybe that Iridorian skull slagger at the bar, or the Johnny nerf herder cowering in the corner is available. Dude. Uh, yeah, prodding him about the Republic defeating his people is probably not going to help me get information. So let's go with, can I ask you now, some normally questions? I charge you for information. The times are good right now, and I'm feeling generous. So ask your questions. Free of charge. Free of charge, huh? Okay. Why is the Republic well, hiring insane, so many mercenaries? But the price is sure right. Of course, I haven't heard of anyone coming back, so I'm guessing the job ain't easy. All right. Do you know anything about if the rooms or starmen? On this world, they've long since disappeared beneath the oceans. Yeah, I'm not going to poke him about the Republic so defeating his people. Me? If you're going, go. I don't need a status report. Okay, then. <laughs> I've heard it said that you're no friend of the Sith. I'd say you could ask a few of them, but, uh, I'm wearing their loot. <laughs> Actually, I kind of like the Sith. They've got style. <laughs> no. My allegiances are my own business. Uh, I don't think this is that kind of conversation, so let's go with... The Sith are a blight upon the galaxy. <laughs> oh, I suspect you have little in common human. I share your dislike of the Sith. They have brought grief to my family. I am not a fool. I know the Sith do not respect our laws as the Republic does. Right up to me, I do everything. Oh, okay. 
Politics stay in my hands. Yeah. Hear what they will do and what they may be doing now. What are you talking about? Oh, many of us all can't have vanished. Those who have gone missing are on the cusp of adulthood, the youth who will someday leave this planet. Uh, Alright, let's be honest. It's about your kid. I'm not hating. Don't hear what I'm going to say. These disappearances coincide with the arrival of the Sith, and I cannot dismiss the connection. The Sith are up to something. Something sinister. Okay. Uh, as much as I'd love to go full mercenary and say, so what's in this for me? That's not the way I've been playing this character. Neutral? Good. So... You want me to investigate? <laughs> I'm just getting offers all over the place. I'll be able to afford whatever I want if people keep tossing 500 credits at me. <laughs> I have no official authority and my personal wealth is not vast. But your 500 credits spend the same just the same. No one else I can turn to. The Republic agents are too closely watched by the Sith. And the city authorities cannot act without proof. I shall look into the disappearances for you. Cannot imagine where to begin. <laughs> Perhaps the offworlders and the mercenary enclave know something. Okay. Learn anything, report back to me at once. If you uncover the fate of my daughter and the other missing soul cat, I will reward you as promised. Okay. I have no desire to speak to you. I know you have links to the Republic. I have no desire to speak to you. I know you have links to the Republic. Is it the lightsaber that gave it away? Are you hiring right. for the Republic or the Sith? Neither. Then why are you wasting my time? There's big money to be made here. I can't risk missing a job offer because I'm yapping with you. Well, okay then. Everybody else is willing to talk. All right, You're what you gotta say? Here, aren't you? My name's Duan. Care to buy a Sith girl a drink? That is, unless you're one of those simpering Republic soldiers. Hmm. Alright. So I got a lot of options here. I can poke around about the swoop races. Not very useful. I don't have much use for, for the Republic. Uh, I think that's not going to fly too far. Although, she looks drunk enough. Searching for the runes and the Sulkath youth. Let me start with the runes because that is my primary purpose if for being a planet. you some kind of historian or something, you should forget about the past. Look towards the future. That's why I joined the Sith. The Republic hmm. is old news. And then I get stuck on Manan, the, the worst post in the galaxy. It isn't easy here, you know. Not with all the Republic soldiers walking the streets while we sit and do absolutely nothing. Malak should send a fleet in and conquer this whole sector, Colto or no. But I don't really want to talk about that right now. I'm just here to have a couple of drinks and try to unwind, yeah. you know? Couple of drinks, huh? Alright, let's ask about well, the Sulkath youth. I'm interested in a lot of things. If you're smart, you'll stay out of Sith business. But I don't really want to talk about that right now. I'm just here to have a couple of drinks and try to unwind. You know? Alright. Oh, I guess that's I it. I get it. I get a little <laughs> bit wild and you want to hold it against me. Come on. What's the matter? Afraid I'll drink you under the table? Hey, if you're not man enough to keep up, who needs you? Seems I'm not ladylike enough for some men. Well, I may be a woman, but I'm still a soldier. Barkeep, bring me another round. Cool. Okay. 
I don't think he'll still be standing by the time I get him. Hey, Matt. All right. Clear out. They're cramping my style with the ladies. Okay. What about you, good sir? <laughs> there are a few places where offworlders are welcome, but here they are at least tolerated. Alright, uh. Nope. No time for questions. What if I paid for the gossip? Then it's not idle, it's a paying customer thing. Alright. Alright, what you got in your inventory? You got nothing but drugs. And I'm not really using any of those, so. Nice talking to you. Alright. Oh, there we go. Let's double check real quick. So we got the murder trial, which is the main quest I wanted to get done today. Yeah, we still got about an hour and a half, so we should be we should be able to finish that. We got the Republic hiring mercenaries. Which we should definitely be keeping an eye out, and the missing Solkath. Alright, so those are the quests we are working on thus far. I gotta find the judges. So, do we have a deal? That's an awful lot of money. Is there something you're not telling me? Don't be so suspicious. The Republic is generous. We pay our mercenaries well. Makes sense, I guess. Hmm. All right, I'm in. When do I start? Just show up at Everybody's the Republic Embassy tomorrow and speak to our representative there. I'm sure I'll have some task he wants you to start on right away. Hmm. Okay, well, let me talk to him, so... Do you mind? I'm in the middle of a Republic recruiting drive right now. Mm -hmm. I need to hire these mercenaries before they sign up with the Sith. <laughs> okay. I'm really wondering if we're going to find out that the Sith are hiring all the mercenaries because the Republic's trying to hire them. And the Republic's trying to hire all the mercenaries because the Sith is hiring all of them. Put my money down for that bet. Why are you hiring the mercenaries? There's a war. We don't hire these okay. perks, the Sith will. Now, excuse me. I have to continue my recruitments. Well, okay then. Anything useful? What? what about you? No. Okay, nothing useful. And you? Okay. I heard the Sith are trying to work on a synthetic version of Colto. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if the Republic was too. Yeah, that's true. That would solve a lot of problems. Alright, that looks like the judges. But before we go in there, let's double check what's down this little corner. Okay, this is the prison. And only arbiters are permitted with the prison cells. Alright. No trouble here. Nope, not this guy. Well, I mean, except for the trouble that I can't get around my own minions. Alright. Into the courthouse we go. So, Mr. Judge, Madam Judge. The Republic judge? respects the peace of Otto City, Your Honor. But the Sith are a violent people who <laughs> leave violence in their wake. I have three soldiers in the infirmary. If the Republic soldiers were more capable, they would not have suffered such serious injuries. Are my soldiers to be punished <laughs> simply because okay. they won a fair fight? I hardly call six against three a fair fight. The Sith mm. are cowards who attack only when they have the advantage of numbers. It's true. They were provoked, Your Honor. The Sith goaded them into this fight. Uh, the Sith have been goading everybody into fights. They've been trying to start fights with me ever since we got here. 
sticks and stones are not sufficient provocation. <laughs> oh. Okay. So you're going to be all Solomon-esque and find them both? <laughs> 10,000 credits. Somebody's budget's going to be cut a little short. Okay, at least two somebody's, one on each side. <laughs> Court dismissed. Further disturbances will not be due to such leniency. Okay, then. If it weren't for the Republic, Manan would already be under Sith control. But we haven't heard one word of thanks from the Selkath. Mm-hmm. Let me guess, you're gonna have something about that? One day soon, the Selkath will pay for the indignities they have inflicted oh. on the Sith! Okay. Sure. Tell me how that works out for you. Judge Shankar. It is my task today to answer the needs of off-world citizens of both the Republic and the Sith Empire. If you have legitimate grievances with another party, then you should speak to me. You should first, however, consult with the Republic Embassy before pressing formal charges. Terms and conditions may apply. <laughs> Alright, is there something you wish to bring to my attention? Yes. I would like to be an arbiter. I have no more questions. What do you know about the Salkath? Star map? Sunray? How did you know it's from the Republic? Hmm. Could it be the lightsaber in your hand? Alright. Uh, let's start with the star map. Alright, that's the first positive answer I've gotten. Holds many wondrous and exciting locales and treasures. Colto is not the least of them. Yeah, the shops and boulevards cater to winds, yada yada. A vibrant nightlife that is to be seen, to be believed. This and other tourist paraphernalia can be had from your local embassy. <laughs> oh, okay. Never mind. Right. Here I was thinking you were going to be helpful. Uh, what do you know about the youth? The court is unaware of any missing beings reports. Could any substantial evidence come up in regards to such a disappearance? You should file it with us and an investigation will be launched. Is there anything else? Alright, uh... I would like to investigate the murder. Oh! <laughs> okay. So that's it, I just come up and say, I would like to investigate a murder. And you go, go for it. In a non-legal tradition, the defendant can have an arbiter, neutral party. As you are a Jedi, I believe you could fulfill the role adequately. Alright, I was getting worried that you were going to go, you know, Republic, Republic. I suppose you're Sunray's only hope. We have to at least try to help him. Help him, You're his only hope. So be it, we are now appointed an arbiter. I will now inform you of the pertinent facts in this case. You have a limited amount of time. <laughs> okay. Seen leaving a hotel, leaving behind a dead Sith woman. He's been charged with murder and is being held in Otto City Prison Facilities. Due to his crippled status, he's being... Wait, because he's crippled, you're holding him in solitary? Okay. He's claimed to have seen the killing and are being detained at the hotel. The manager has now been informed of your appointment. Okay. The lasso was found dead of a blaster wound with an incriminating Republic medal clutched in her hand. This information has been uploaded to your data pad. It would be wise to review all information before the trial starts. 
You may question Sunry or the witnesses. The evidence in this case is heavily stacked. Perhaps too heavily? Dun, dun, dun. Yes, but it almost okay. seems too heavily stacked, doesn't oh. it? Oh. <laughs> Very suspicious. <laughs> of course. You may also interview the judges here, including myself, to get an idea of the pertinent factors in this case. All right, I guess I'm going to start with the judges, and since I'm standing here, if you'll let me start with you, I'll start with you. Since this is also your first case and you're off roller, I feel compelled to add good luck. All right. Uh, well, since you stopped talking to me temporarily, let me start with this guy over here. Since you have been designated arbiter in the Sunry case, I shall answer questions that you might have. Good. Did you order the code red? Oh, wrong law movie. Uh, hmm. What do you think of the Republic of the Sith Empire? Both empires are at fault. The Republic in the past for laying the foundations upon which the Sith Empire grew. And the Sith now, obviously, for starting the war. Wait a second. The Republic? Okay. No matter the wrongs that have been done in the past, the Sith now have new plans for renewing hostilities. It almost seems as if they <laughs> It almost seems as if they want to conquer everything. Who would have thought? I believe the Republic has every right to defend itself and drive the Sith back from where they came. Unfortunately for them, and perhaps for us, they do not seem to be doing too good a job of it. Mm. Yeah. Was there anything else? Yes, you had other questions that I could ask. Uh, anything suspicious about this case? Well, I've often wondered if someone is so innocent, why was he seen fleeing the scene of the crime? Why would he have been running if he had not committed the crime himself, or was at least aware that... Okay. So that's the first note. In order to win this case, we need to satisfactorily answer for him why he was running away. <laughs> The case seems fairly simple and obvious. You Republic types stick together. However, and I assume you will go to lengths to defend him. Okay, um, can I get him removed from the panel? He seems a little prejudiced. Alright, what do you think of Sonny? Former Republic officer, highly regarded by your people. He is admired by your people here in Manon, and even seems to maintain some sort of relations with them still. Oh, I mean, he was maintaining relations with that Sith, too, but, uh... If he's as capable as some other Republic citizens still believe in being, he's certainly capable of the actions that result in the murder. Okay. Hmm. No more questions. Alright, so we get a satisfactory answer for him. Why he was running away. Because that seems to be his most burning question. And you did so. <laughs> I suppose I must spend some time talking to you since you're here in an official court. Oh, because, you know, you'd say nothing if we weren't? Okay. What do you need? What do you think of the Republic of the Sith? I do not buy into the Republic line that there is some epic battle of the good Republic against the evil Sith. Complete with scare quotes around good and evil. The Sith Empire is merely an expansionist power, much like the Republic was early in its history. It is simply the turning of history where the old is swept away by the better new. Is there anything intelligent you wish to know? Ouch. Uh, is there anything suspicious about this case? I find this case to be fairly straightforward. Sunry is from the Republic, Alasa from the Sith. The great empires battling now live out their conflict through their minions, too. 
Hey, as a resident Indian, I resent that remark. Or maybe I just resemble that remark. And what do you think of Sunry? Sunry was a Republic soldier, a hero even. Do you think his Republic masters would let someone so valuable go so easily? Ah, uh, okay. Now you think Sunry is trying to go conflict or something to that effect. There's something else you require. No, no more questions for now. <laughs> they go. Do not disturb me unless you have trial business to discuss. Yes, Your Honor. Takes you a long time to tell me to go take a hike. Right. As arbiter, you have the authority to question me on matters pertaining to this case. Yada yada yada. Alright, um. Already asked about the star map in the South Cal. Let's ask questions about the trial. You have the right. Yes, that's why I was talking to you. What do you think of the Republic and the South? The governing parties, the states seek to keep amicable relationships with our world because Coulter. I do not delude myself into thinking that either of you states hold any great love for us, but we are necessary. Okay. So you're more the uh, utilitarian? I'm trying to remember which philosopher that was. I try not to concern myself with intergalactic policy. I find it stretches the letter of the law too much for my taste. You and me is there something else that concerns you here? Alright, um... Anything suspicious? The metal that was found clutched in the Sith sand. Alright, that's something we're gonna answer for, if we can. I find it most odd that such a blatantly incriminating piece of evidence would be left at the scene of the crime. You and me both. We have analyzed the evidence and it does not appear to be a replica, but I still have my doubts. In the midst of the crime, though, Sunry, Sunry could well have lost it. I've seen much more improbable things happen in my tenure in the courts. That is fair, too, having spoken to a few different sheriffs and whatnot. Simply because it was real does not mean Sunry would have overlooked it being in Elasa's hand. Is there another matter you wish to inquire about? What do you think of Sunry? Sunry is known to us as a hero of the Republic in their perpetual conflicts with the Sith Empire. They do appear to be perpetual. While he may have been severely injured in the line of duty, I personally hold him in quite high regard. That's an interesting segue, but okay. Speaking Sorry, of that no. injury, has it been taken into consideration, Your Honor? <laughs> In no way does his disability hamper him, though. Rest assured that my personal regard will not affect my judgment. While your emotion may rule your Senate, the cold, hard hand of the law. Okay. No, no more questions for now. When you feel you've gathered enough evidence, you may speak to the warden in charge of the prison. He will be in summary to us, and the trial will commence. Right, I got two more of these guys to talk to. Ah, the Arbiter. Since you've been permitted to defend Sunday against these accusations, I shall assist how I can. Sorry, I'm running short on breath here. A certain puppy. 
<laughs> the one you saw in that brief intermission earlier seems to have relaxed just a little too much over by my desk. And, uh, yeah. I could use a, an air filter over here. Alright. Let me ask the good judge here. What do you think of the Republic of the Sith Empire? I find this great battle being waged across the galaxy both disturbing and ultimately tragic. While it's false, your tottering Republic has benefited the vast majority of the galaxy for many millennia. For all its faults, your tottering Republic uh, I do not like the Sith, that I make no effort to hide. I will even admit that if given the option, I would rule that we should join the Republic. Mm, there you go. But I must remain impartial and rule in this case as the law requires. <laughs> do you have any additional questions? Anything suspicious? I find it questionable that a man with such a repu reputable past would murder a Sith woman, especially not from behind. Ooh, I didn't realize that she was murdered from behind. But knowing the Sith, there's probably some deception involved. They seek to do the same thing to us here. Welcome to the club. There's been much pressure by the Sith on our government, and even on the judges themselves, to deliver a guilty verdict in this case. But the letter of the law is absolute, and we will not be compromised for Sith power games. <laughs> so, say, is there anything else you need? What do you think of Sun? Sun is a great warrior in his time. He fought for the Republic against the Sith aggression and proved valorous. I have a great respect for his accomplishments and find it tragic that he finds himself in his current condition. If the Republic had more individuals like him right now, I do not believe the Sith would be so great a problem for your people. Well, that's true, too. I do. I see you've been relaxing. Okay. I can tell you've been relaxing. Alright, no more questions. I got one more to talk to. Alright, so the Sith woman, he... Alright. So Sunry was seen running from the hotel. The Sith woman was murdered from behind and was found to have been clutching his medal. <laughs> I shall answer questions pertaining to the case and those questions only. What do you think of the Republic? I think the Republic is an institution in sore need of change. It has gone on too long, and the Sith are the fresh wind of change. Okay, look. Change may be needed, but not all change is good. I do not believe in the false stories of the evils of <laughs> Um. Dude. You're in for some lessons. Alright, so we got one pro Republic, we got one pro Sith. <laughs> it appear that I am wiser and more far-sighted than my immediate superiors. I am relegated to civil judicial matters. I will judge this case, and I will find Sunry as- Oh! Oh. Like, you're not even pretending to be neutral. Like, so nope. nice to meet an impartial judge for a change. <laughs> <laughs> Impartiality is one thing, blindness is another entirely. You said it, not I. <laughs> yes, what do you think about due process? No? No? Not on there? Okay. Anything suspicious? 
I find it presumptuous to assume that the cripple could kill Elasa. I think there must have been another there who killed her. Perhaps one of the witnesses. Well, at least we're on the same wavelength on that one. I do not have any reason for the metal clutched in Elasa's hand either, but it may have been that she fought them off even as she died. I think this may be the work of some public conspiracy. Is this a false flag? Oh, wait, no, wait, no. I'm not even going to go into all that. Alright. If the only means I have, I heard it. Ooh. Damn. Wow. Okay. What do you think of Sunday himself? <laughs> I find the idea that some half-human cripple could murder someone as obviously competent as the Sith is questionable at best. Dude. You should try to, like, hide your bias just a little bit. A man who can barely walk killed a Sith warrior in her prime? Preposterous. Well, okay, then. But I wouldn't put it past the Republic to try and arrange such circumstances to see her dead. The Sith are much more straightforward about their intentions. Uh, I don't know. Is Nope. Nothing more for now. Do not bring the frivolous topics to discuss. I do only the trial information. And maybe not even that. Okay. So. Just to fill out the map. Let's run around over here in this corner. Anything to see? Nope. Alright. To the prison then. To go talk to the prisoner. First... Let's talk to the prisoner's wife. I have been appointed as arbiter in Sunri's trial. My husband is innocent. Please don't let him go Please to jail for a go. crime he didn't commit. All right. Uh, can you tell me Sunri's anything about him? He's a cripple. There's no way he could have overpowered the Sith woman like they claim. That's true. I'd forgotten about that. Let's not forget that he would have had to have been considerably older than the Sith woman. <laughs> Are you saying someone of your age couldn't overpower I'm a woman? I'm Jedi, and one who was living alone in the Shadowlands until recently. That keeps you in shape, damn it. We're talking about Sunri here. And there's no yeah. way he would do something so dishonorable as hit her from behind. Sunri's a decorated war hero. He's a hero oh. of the Republic. I'll see Find the real evidence. That's all I ask. The real evidence will prove Sunri didn't do this. Alright. I have to talk to you first. You may come and go and you please. You'll find the door in Okay. I wasn't sure if this was going to be like some of those other areas where I got to talk to you every time I go in and out. If you wish to begin your trial, you must make the request with the warden. Alright, note to south. Do not talk to the warden until we're ready to get this party started. Prisoner, Sunray. Oh, you're the warden. Alright, let's start with you, Julie, Sunray. What are you doing here? The Laura sent me, Sunray. I'm here to get you out of this mess. The courts went and made us arbiters for your case. Just like old times, eh, Julie? You come swooping in out of nowhere to save my tail from the fire? You saved my wrinkle butt more than a few times as well, friend, if I recall. But there'll be time for catching up later. Right now, we need to focus on the case. The case is a complete frame-up. Anyone looking at the evidence could see that. Or so I thought. But the cell cast seem to think that there's... Well, that there's enough to go to trial. There aren't any witnesses. All that evidence against me is circumstantial and completely flawed. All right, so let's go over the evidence. I was at the hotel, I admit. And I did meet Elasa there that night, but it's not what you think. Oh, it's not what you think? I was working <laughs> with Republic Intelligence. We were pretending to feed information to the Sith. When I turned Elasa into a double agent working for us. 
It was going well, uh -huh. too, until she turned up dead. Maybe the Sith had found out I was turning her and had her eliminated. But let's look at the yeah. facts they've okay. given. Alassa was brutally killed. Think about that. She was a Sith, trained in battle, and I'm just a crippled old man. My war injuries make it difficult for me to walk, even to hold things. See how my hands are shaking? How could I kill a Sith warrior at close quarters? I ask you! Further, they say they found my heroes cross at the crime scene. Would I leave my war medal behind if I killed someone? Even I'm not that stupid. Obviously, the Sith well, planted the cross. And what about the lack of forensic evidence? Skin and hair samples, clothing fibers. Why isn't there anything like that at the crime scene? I didn't scene? know we turned into a CIA like an Star, frame or CSI me. Star Wars. I hope you can see how the Sith are manipulating the cell cat. And probably even you to set up this against me. A set of NCIS is over with quickly. Uh, clear my name. Anything JCIS, else I can help you Jedi with? Criminal Investigator I want my Arbiter to be well prepared before we go to trial. Can I be Gibbs? Alright. So that's us going over the evidence. Uh, hmm. I need to investigate the case some more. Could interview witnesses at the hotel with the murder witnesses happened. at the hotel. Selkath already did hmm. that, but the fish folk don't have much rapport with offworlders. Yeah, I've noticed they don't have much Maybe rapport. Maybe one of them was holding something back. But I think you'd be better off investigating the Sith themselves. Maybe <laughs> you could find some proof they planted yeah, evidence it. to frame me. Though that might mean figuring out a way into the Sith Embassy. Anything else I can help you with? I want my Arbiter to be well prepared before we go to trial. Alright, few things Go ahead, to ask. Clear. Ask what you need to. I've got nothing to hide. Yeah, the judges said that you left, left How after the trial was fine. They weren't there. I heard some of the witnesses said that too, but I swear she was alive when I left. I wonder if the Sith had been putting pressure on people to get them to convict me. It wouldn't surprise me at all. They've had it in for me since the war. You should ask everyone about that. They might admit to helping the Sith under pressure. Hmm. Okay. Very well. Yeah, I'll be going now. I suppose there is still much you must do before the trial. Once you've gotten enough evidence to go to trial, just tell the warden we're ready. The sooner I get out of the cell, the better. Let's double check that juror. Okay. Uh, Sunry claims that he's been set up. Secretly trying to turn her into a double agent. Huh. They have given you the following information as well. Sunru is seen leaving the scene of the murder after a blaster shot was heard. Sunri has noticeable crippling injuries from his past experience as a war hero against the Sith. So it was definitely him. This is testified to you by the proprietor of the hotel where this occurred, Ignis. In the room that he had rented a Sith woman, Alessa was found dead clutching a Republic War Medal in her hand. There were two witnesses besides the hotel. One is Glupor, a Rodian who is staying in their next room. The other is Ferith Me, a gambler. Okay. Just for kicks, since I can talk to him. What's he got to say? When I get out of here, you're dead! I'll gut your fishy little corpse, cut off your Ooh. head, and bathe in your blood! Dude. Okay. Sure. Nope. Nothing fruitful to be had there. Nope, nope, nope. Are you going to tell me anything new before I, I get too much further? I hear you've been appointed as Arbiter in Sunra's trial. My husband is innocent. Please don't let him go to jail for a crime he didn't commit. This is all a plot to discredit the Republic. Sunri is a victim of a Sith frame-up. It's possible. I haven't seen Sunri since I crashed on Kashyyyk. A man can change a lot in that time. The man I knew could never have done this crime, however. Find the real evidence. That's all I ask. The real evidence will prove Sunri didn't do this. Well, okay then. Alright. So now that we got our quest... 
All right, that's to the mercenary enclave. That's to Central City. That's to the High Court. All right, so we got to go Central. We got to get to the hotel because we need to talk to the proprietor and a couple other people. Let's see if I can remember how to get there. I was hoping that might change. Mm. Alright, so we got the Jets and the Sharks. Because I hear the Jets are going to win tonight. <laughs> Alright. Uh, this is the right way before I go too much further. That's to the East Courtyard, that's the Republic Enclave, that's the Visitor's Hotel. No, I need to turn around. Up this way, glad I checked. Just out of curiosity, anything different? Nope. Nope, okay, nothing different. Not doing anything at the Republic Enclave just yet. It is 10 after 8, and I'd really like to finish this quest up real quick. You were the so one defending see. Sunry now, huh? Hmm. Well, the hotel's open for you. And I guess I gotta <laughs> answer any questions you want, too. Yeah, you do. What did you the see? The Sith woman, Alasa, rented a room in the hotel. An hour or two later, Sunry comes in and goes to her room. A couple hours later, I hear a blaster shot and see Sunry running. He can't run good because he's a cripple, but he still was going pretty fast. I would swear he started after the shot, though. Are yeah, you sure? I'm pretty damn sure he left after the shot went off. Could it have no, gone off after he so. left? I mean, it's possible, just barely. But I wouldn't say that to the court. <laughs> Ooh. I could try to persuade. You could testify it happened after he left. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, that's tempting. <laughs> I could pay you 200 credits to say it. Does uh, 200 credits help clear your memory that he uh, left at before the shot? Oh, let's try my luck. Yeah, I'll tell the court Sunry left before the shot went off. Hmm, I guess this is what they call working the system. Not that I'm objecting, <laughs> I just hope the Selkath don't find out about it. Now, was there anything else you wanted? <laughs> uh, what do you know Elasa about Sunry used to and rent rooms here every week or so. Then Sunry would oh. come by a couple hours later and stay all night. It doesn't take mm -hmm. a genius to figure out what was going on. Or the witnesses. There were only two other people in the hotel when it happened. One was a Rodian named Glupor. Seems like a really dirty, shifty type. Normally, I don't let his kind in here. I'm a reputable businessman, you know. But there weren't many people here, so I decided to take a chance. The other is a regular okay. named Feareth Me. He's a Pazak player. Probably an addict, but he claims he's big in some circles. Don't know anything about him other than that. Anything else you want to know? All right. So now we know what he saw the night of. We know about the two of them. Sunry says it was for uh, converting her to the Republic. He seems to think she, he was uh, re-establishing better relations with the Sith. All right, well, no more questions okay. for now. If you need anything else, I'm going to be right here. All right. No dark side points for the Force Persuade, too. Cool. Alright. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Is it really a 
that simple? Can I just like get the hundred credits? You know what? Just in case that turns out to be a really bad idea. Let me go ahead and save the game. Are you sure? Yep. Okay. You with the cell, Kath? You here to see me about the murder, too? I told the damn fish everything I knew. Mm -hmm. What more do you all want everything from me? Everything you knew. What do you know about Sunri I only heard of once or twice in passing. Some sort of old-time war hero against the Sith. Seen him around in the hotel, too. Going hmm. to Alas's room always, of course. Kept the rest of the building up half the night with their damn antics, usually. Oh. <laughs> you mean... He was establishing relations with the Sith? I'm not saying anything like that. What they did in that room, in private, is their business. And there isn't any rule against Sith and Republic seeing each other for personal reasons. Although if you think her Sith Master didn't know, you must be fooling yourself. Wait a second. Uh, Sith Master? Well, alas, yeah. was a Sith, so of course she'd have to have someone above her. Yeah, I, I didn't see anything. Uh-huh. What if I tossed in the hundred credits I just pulled out of the bag? Or... You know you want to you tell know, me. I think I could trust you. <laughs> Heck, I don't even know why I shouldn't tell you. Well, one time, well, I saw the last coming in wearing this big cloak. I was on my way to my room, and she normally wears stuff like that, so I didn't pay her too much attention. But this time, I accidentally brushed up against her. Accidentally, of course. And her cloak fell open. Now, mm -hmm. I don't have any qualms about the Sith. I leave them alone, and they leave me alone. And seeing as how Alasa had a Sith lightsaber under her cloak, oh. I'm not going to poke that hornet's nest. <laughs> I have a lightsaber too, you know. She was a dark Jedi, Seems so. Huh? But I'm not getting myself in any further with the mm -hmm. Sith. I know how ruthless they are. Now that's all I'm going to tell you. I'll testify it to the court, but you aren't going to get anything else out of me. Oh, that got me dark side points? Okay. You know what? No. I, I pulled the hundred credits out of the box. I'll, I'll go pay those. Let, let, I don't want the dark side points. There's dark side points that I am willing to live with, and then not so much. Or is that what the dark side points are for? Taking that? All right. Let's find out real quick. You with the cell, Kath? I right. told the yeah. told him. What do you know? Kept the re I'm not saying. And there is Sith uh, Master. Well, Alasa was a Sith, so of course she'd have to have someone oh, above her. You. Yeah, I, I didn't see anything. Ah. Uh. One hundred credits isn't enough for the kind of trouble <laughs> I'd be having if I told you. Sorry, you're going to have to look somewhere else. Thanks. I was in my room, minding my own business with the latest copy of Pazak Weekly, checking out the listings for the big tournament that's going to be held here soon, when I heard a blaster shot. Being still alive, and therefore smart enough not to stick my head out immediately, I didn't go out right away. I looked out after a minute and saw Glupor in the hall by Alas's room, and Sunray oh. running like the wind. You can't tell me that someone who was running like that, and he was pretty fast for a cripple, isn't guilty. <laughs> and what do you know about that? I only heard of once or twice in passing. Thank you Some for the follow. Some sort of old-time war hero against the Sith. Seen him around in the hotel, too. Going to Alas's room always. Kept the rest of the building up half the... I'm not saying anything. And there is... Oh... I didn't see anything. Alright, uh... Since it seems like I'm not going to be able to get it without the dark side points... 100 credits... No. Nope. You know, All right. I think... Well, but this... No, I don't have... Okay. I don't know what it means to you, but to me it kind of screams Dark Jedi. And I'm not getting myself right, in any fair. further with the Sith. I know how ruthless they are. 
Now, that's all I'm going to tell you. I'll testify to the court, but you aren't going to get anything else out of me. Alright, I guess I am living with those dark side points. That's not what I was looking to do with this character. But, uh... Guys, come on, get out. Fine. Ready! I just need you what? to get out of the way. beating down the door just yet. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> you have a question? Yes, I do have questions. Oh, he's actually offering me the option to talk about the... Do you know about a... Do you know about a star map? Wow, I'm surprised he's the first one who's allowed me those two options in this, but uh, alright, let's start with the murder, because that's what we're here for. <laughs> Tell him everything. Mm -hmm. Everything about murder, everything about Sith Lady's room. Uh-huh. And... Oh. What about Alyssa's room? <laughs> Just curious to see what happened. <laughs> no one paid him to do? Yeah. Uh-huh. And how about if I give you 100 credits? Oh, wow. Okay, that was easy. Easier than the last guy. <laughs> Sith man came up to Gupta after murder before Selkath arrived. Good money if he puts the metal... Alright. <laughs> Plant evidence and leave no trace. <laughs> no use to salt craft, no, so not to bother them. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Maybe. Killing you to lay down, stay there. Uh -huh. okay. Alright, so we know from him. Dude, come on. You gotta Ready. stop blocking the door. Sure. Alright. There's no way in there. No problem. Didn't work. Skill too low, huh? Alright. Guys. Ready! You're crowding me. Yes? Alright, uh... You know what I need? I need to go back to the party selection. I'll get rid of you. I'll add you. Because this guy. Ooh, he needs to level up, huh? <laughs> well, since he's about to break in, let's bump it, max up his uh, security score there. Let's bump up his repair and. Ooh. Demolitions is cross class, awareness is cross class, so let's bump that up so we can burn all the points and we'll get the computer use on the next go round. Alright. There we go. Sure. Thank you, little buddy. Let's go back to party selection. Send you on your way and grab the guy who's good in a fight. back. Alright. Nothing? That's it? A med pack? All that for a med pack? Alright. Uh, hmm. A mysterious man. You 
Jedi. I hear you are investigating the Sunri murder trial, I wrote. This case is not at all what it appears mm -hmm. to be. Many currents, might I say, flow beneath the surface. What do you this mean? This murder is much more complicated than it may first appear. The Sunri and Elasa are proxies for their governments, and both sides want the other to fail. You can see the journey uh, by the footprints. You understand, yes? I think so. Dear, dear. I'm saying they both had something to do with it. They've both kept their hands in this from the start. If you want to get to the bottom of this murder, you might seek information from both the Sith and the Republic, likely in their embassies. Okay. <laughs> they just give it to me? Yeah, okay. not. yeah. You think state secrets are for sale on the common market? You would have to be well, I mean... devious to get what you want. Heed my advice, Jedi, and you may yet find the truths in this murder. Hmm. And the mysterious man was never seen again. Dun dun dun. Have you managed to retrieve the data from our droid in the Sith base? No, nope, not yet. Time is a critical factor. We cannot allow the Sith to decode that data recording, or our operations on Manon would be compromised. No. That's it? Oh. I thought you were going to actually, you know, help me with something. Alright, uh, let's try our luck at the Sith Embassy real quick. Greetings, Master Jedi. I hope you have a pleasant okay. stay here on the night. If you have any questions... I have to stop talking to Sith. Those Sith are always trying to goad us. What? It was for those damn SoCath neutrality laws. I'd teach that <laughs> Sith a thing or two. Uh, respect the law. I suppose you're right. You probably know best. You are a Jedi, after all. I guess getting mad doesn't help any. Well, as long as the Sith stay out of my way, I'll stay out of theirs. No, I was hoping he'd actually give me useful information. Oh well. I still gotta do the thing where I talk to the one guy all alone. But, uh, that might have to wait until the next time. I need to dash over to the Sith Embassy. See if I can get any information out of them. Is that this way? Sorry, but you're too late to recruit me. I've just hired on with the Sith. <laughs> of course, if the Republic has a better offer. I don't have time to s No, okay. Nothing new. Let me just double check my map real quick. That is to the Sith Embassy. Yep. That's to the base, that's to the guy who sells me plating and such. As much as I like the plating, it's not better enough. I know you. You're the arbiter <laughs> in the murder trial. Elasa was a friend of mine. Mm. If there's any justice in the galaxy, They'll feed Sunray to the Phyrexans. Shouldn't you be preparing for the trial? What are you doing here? I have business ha! with the Sith. We know who we have business with. If you don't know how to get in, then we don't want anything to do with you. Now back off. Well, okay then. Go. Stay. D All right. That was worth a shot. I thought the uh, Arbiter business would have allowed me in, but... uh. Apparently not. Hmm. Alright, so we've done our bit at the hotel. I do need to see if I can get Sunry to commit one way or the other. Oh, no. Wrong direction. That's the mercenary bar. No, soup racing. Dude. All right. Where's the map? 
Okay, to the left. I swear, of all the places to find to try to find your way around, this has been the uh, the most convoluted place. All right, over to East Central. Those are the unhelpful guys. To West Central. No, uh, that's the port official, and I need to get to the list. These cell cats don't know what no. they're gonna miss when the Sith Empire finally. I thought you might have something interesting this time. Come on, guys. Where you at, old man? You've been appointed as arbiter in Sunra's trial. My husband is innocent. Please don't let him go to jail for a crime he didn't commit. Was he having an affair? Don't insult us both. Mm -hmm. Sunri is a just and honorable man. How dare you accuse him us of such a thing? Now, now, Alora. We're not here to pass judgment, my dear. We do need to know everything if we're here to help, yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, oh. he was having an affair. He was seeing that... That Sith woman. After all these years we've been together, he just... Just dropped me like that. Not publicly, I know. But inside... That's what it feels like. He started mm -hmm. seeing Alasa last year. I... I had my suspicions for a while, but he was careless. Pretty soon everyone knew. But even though I'm sure that Did Harlot was only using him, I know he couldn't have killed her. He came and confessed to the affair to me. He said he was going to there to break it off, to end oh, it. Maybe okay. the Sith woman attacked him, and, and he had to defend himself. But even though he cheated on me, inside he's still the man I loved. You know? Kind of well, you know, something, something, woman scorned, right? Um, he's a soldier, though. He has killed many Sith before. Uh, that was a long time ago, in a war far, far away. He's changed now, settled down. Oh, just please prove his innocence. I'll see. Find the real evidence. That's all I ask. The real evidence will prove Sunri didn't do this. Alright. What does Sunri have to say? Yeah, anything new? Jolly! Then? Coming to check in on an old man? I must confess, I... I would rather you were here to speak to the Warden and begin my trial. Soon, old friend. We don't want to go to trial until we've got the whole picture. Oh, I grow weary of staring at these four bare walls. But I suppose you know what you're doing. You know, the role of Arbiter cannot be taken lightly. All right, a few Go things ahead, ask. Clear. Ask what you need to. <laughs> I've got nothing to hide. Nothing to, sign, huh? to hide, huh? Were you we guys are, having an affair? No. No, what this must look like, yes. Yes, we were having an affair. I know it okay. was wrong, but I'm a weak man. Alasa was beautiful and young. How was I to resist her charms? But I didn't. 
Dracula. I loved her. Please. <laughs> I know I made a terrible mistake getting involved with Alasa, but I was going there to break it off with her. I did it, but found out later that she was dead. I don't deserve to go to jail just for having an affair, do I? You have to help me prove that I wasn't the killer. All right. Go ahead, ask. Ask what you need to. I've got nothing to hide. Nothing to sign. Nothing to hide. Uh... A Rodian? Huh. I didn't know there were any Rodians on Manan. Oh, well, except for Tybark and this one named Glubar who's hanging around the hotel all the time. Okay, so maybe there are a whole bunch of Rodians on Manan. But what does that matter? If he planted hmm. evidence at the scene, it's a clear sign of a frame-up. He probably took all the evidence of the real killer at the same time. The evidence of a Sith conspiracy keeps getting stronger, doesn't it? I suspect there's still stuff you want to clear up. Go ahead, ask. Yeah, there is. Ask what you need to. I've got nothing to hide. And the judge How said you left know? after the show. They weren't there. I heard some of the witnesses said that too, but I swear she was alive when I left. I wonder if the Sith had been putting pressure on people to get them to convict me. It wouldn't surprise me at all. They've had it in for me since the war. You should ask <laughs> everyone about that. They might admit to helping the Sith under pressure. Well, uh... You know I was having an affair with Alasa. I went there to break it off that night. But I can tell you it wasn't easy. She is... was young and beautiful. But I love Alora. I knew I had to do it. I broke it off quickly as I could and then I left. I found out later she'd been murdered when the Selkath authorities came knocking on my door. But let's look at the facts they've given. Alasa was brutally killed. Think about that. She was a Sith. Trained in battle, and I'm just a crippled old man. My war injuries make it difficult for me to walk, even to hold things. See how my hands are shaking? How could I kill a Sith warrior at close quarters? I ask you! Further, they say they found my heroes cross at the crime scene. Would I leave my war medal behind if I kill? Obviously, the Sith planted the cross. I hope you can see how the Sith are. Anything else I can help you with? I'm... Hmm. Very well. Once you've gotten enough evidence to go to trial... Alright. Oh! Oh! And the last save was at the hotel. And the last save was at the hotel. The game just crashed. Like, completely crashed. And the last save was at the hotel. Oh, uh, hmm. Is that... Is that close enough that I could speed through the rest of this in 20 minutes? No. So, I think this is where... Go ahead and skip over to this part here. <laughs> Because I was not, I was not expecting it to go like that. Um, mm, that's tough. That's tough. All right. Uh, I will, I will run through to the off camera. I will go through everything up to the warden. I will stick pretty much to where I was at. And before clicking on the warden, I will save and bring it back here and uh and then go from there so i was hoping to have that finished finished because we we should have had just enough time for the trial looking at the clock uh shoot all right that just means we'll be able <laughs> that just means we have a cliffhanger to leave this episode on with so you'll have to tune in next week 6 p.m u.s eastern on thursdays games revisited 
If you're enjoying the show, if you're liking what you see, enjoying this wonderful trip down memory lane, live.anonjunior.com will take you to the Streamlabs page where you can, you know, throw a little tip or donation my way. If nothing else, keep a, keep a little coffee going. Uh, I, I know that is a stein, but uh, I use it to drink my coffee in. And yes, it is black as coffee should be. And so, uh... <laughs> live.anonjunior.com that'll take you to the Twitch page, the Mixer page it will point you to my home page and Twitter and uh, it, that's where the tip jar is so if you're enjoying what you see enjoying this trip down memory lane send a, send a little love this way and you can be listed in the credits up there if you give during the live stream and uh, I also do another stream on Tuesdays I play Minecraft on the CoffeeCraft server, and that is Tuesdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Archives are up on the YouTube page. If you're on Mixer or Twitch watching this now, the YouTube link will be down in the description below. If you're already watching this on YouTube, then, well, you already know where the archive is. It is on my channel page there. Do subscribe to the channel. That way you'll get... Uh, You'll get in your subscriptions list these live stream archives and soon, I'm not sure how soon, but soon I do plan on putting together some shorter, more tightly produced episodes of Coffee Craft and getting that together. That, that is in the very near future. My goal is by the end of the calendar year to have at least 10 episodes produced and done on a regular schedule. Yikes. Uh, <laughs> oh man, trying to trying to get in. So far, I've been able to maintain a solid streaming schedule since I started this in the beginning of April. Uh, I have had to drop one stream for some of the off-camera work to get things ready for uh, for each stream. I hope to be able to pick uh, pick that stream back up or start a new podcast. I find myself with more ideas than I have time to execute, especially working uh, 40 hours a week at my day job to pay the bills. Uh, so I will have a little bit more along those lines, the paying the bills part, at hopefully when I get the Patreon page finished. But uh, that will be coming up soon-ish, probably in the next month or so. Uh, hopefully sooner, but... Uh, Work, life, schedule, time, only 24 hours in a day. And I hear you're supposed to spend at least some of those sleeping. That's supposed to be healthy for you. All right. I've rambled on long enough. Thank you. Have fun. Enjoy. Hope to see you next week where we finish up that court trial. <laughs>